Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, commonly known as DARPA, in association with the U.S. Army, has revealed that it's tested fully unmanned robotic fighting vehicles. The DARPA Robotics Autonomy Complex Environment Recognition, or RACER Experiment 4, E4, which was undertaken in Texas, displayed massive improvements in autonomous military maneuvers. The RACER initiative demonstrated autonomous movement within a 15-square-mile terrain that had a complex landscape including vegetation, trees, rocks, and water crossings. Despite no prior exposure to the area's censored data sets, the RACER teams executed over 30 autonomous runs, covering distances ranging from 3 to 10 miles, totaling more than 150 miles, or 240 kilometers. These successful runs, conducted at speeds up to 30 miles per hour, underscored the adaptability and resilience of autonomy stacks, proving their efficacy in real-world scenarios. In this video, Defense Updates reports on DARPA's RACER. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The RACER program was announced by DARPA in July 2020. As per DARPA, as put by Dr. Stuart H. Young, the aim is simple. The Robotic Autonomy in Complex Environments with Resiliency RACER, program is focused on developing and demonstrating new autonomy algorithm technologies, rather than vehicle or sensor technologies, that enable unmanned ground vehicles UGVs, to maneuver on unstructured off-road terrain at speeds that are only limited by considerations of sensor performance, mechanical constraints, and safety. At a minimum, the program goal is software performance to move off-road at speeds on par with a human driver. Viewers may note that advancing military off-road autonomy has proven challenging due to the intricate nature of off-road terrain and the necessity to navigate it swiftly. DARPA notes, the self-driving car industry has made rapid advances via a vehicle platform-based, agile, develop-test-develop-test model that has accumulated data to help train algorithms and refine approaches. Simulation-based development approaches use the same data for algorithm tuning. On-road autonomy algorithms operate in well-structured and highly predictable environments with limited obstacles. However, military off-road autonomy algorithms and capability development has lagged due to the challenging complexity of off-road terrain environments and need to travel in them at relevant speeds. RACER is using simulation as well as cutting-edge platforms to reach its objectives. The fleet of robotic vehicles developed as part of RACER includes RACER Heavy Platform RHP, vehicles and RACER Fleet Vehicles RFVs. The RHPs are 20 foot long, weigh 12 tons, and is a skid steer tracked vehicle. The RHP uses the Textron M5 base platform, which was originally developed and used by the U.S. Army for robotic combat vehicle needs. It's now upgraded and backed for RACER autonomy integration by Carnegie Robotics, an autonomous technology solutions provider. Our FV is a 2-ton, 11-foot-long, Ackerman-steered vehicle. The RFVs have a full 360-degree range and use various image-sensing technologies and computation abilities, including multiple light detection and ranging, LIDARs, stereo camera pairs, color and infrared cameras, radio detection and ranging, radars, event sensors, and inertial measurement sensors. Each RFV includes upgrades for roll protection, integrating sensors, enabling autonomous control, and boosting power by 7 kilowatts. Stuart Young, RACER Program Manager, 
has stated, having two radically different types of vehicles helps us advance towards Racer's goal of platform agnostic autonomy in complex, mission-relevant, off-road environments that are significantly more unpredictable than on-road conditions. The vehicles are outfitted with computational tools that are housed within a special electronics box, or e-box, designed to withstand the rigorous demands of high-speed off-road tests. The e-box houses multiple top-tier graphical processing units, GPUs, in a setup that ensures environmental protection, shock and vibration resistance, and effective thermal management. The sensor paired with the e-box was able to gather terabytes of sensor data every hour during testing. The data will in turn power the artificial intelligence AI, and machine learning ML, algorithms and support the sophisticated methodologies required for executing rapid combat maneuvers in intricate terrains. In the first phase of DARPA's racer program, teams were challenged to build and design autonomous off-road systems capable of matching the pace of traditional military vehicles in challenging terrains. The first experiment in Phase 1, involving RFVs, was conducted on combat-relevant terrain across six courses between March and April of 2022. The teams conducted more than 40 autonomous runs, each spanning 2 miles, or about 3.21 kilometers, and achieving speeds of up to 20 miles per hour, or 32 kilometers per hour. In March 2023, DARPA conducted the first test of RFVs without human occupants, employing a safety operator in a nearby chase vehicle. The racer program carried out its third experiment, evaluating the capabilities of off-road, uncrewed vehicles in November 2023. The test took place in the rugged and demanding landscape of the Mojave Desert at the U.S. Army's NTC in Fort Irwin. In the Ukraine-Russia conflict, autonomous unmanned vehicles were deployed by both Ukraine and Russia. Examples include Russian Yuran 9 and Ukrainian Layut or Fury. However, the effectiveness of these vehicles is restricted by their programming and their dependence on human input to adapt to changing environments. Clearly, the potential of Racer is vast. It could serve diverse military and security roles across various applications such as reconnaissance, surveillance, transportation, search and rescue, and even combat operations. For instance, a UGV could act as a scout, relaying targeting information to other platforms. While UGVs are unlikely to play a significant role on any battlefield in the next few years, the fact remains, as AI and associated technologies continue to advance, UGVs are expected to become more sophisticated and versatile, and their use is likely to become more widespread. It's good that the U.S. military is taking this seriously and making significant progress. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.